Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to do an infinity pour with these neon colors. If you don't know what an infinity pour is, you'll find out. It's a technique I kind of came up with a little while ago. Super fun. And we're going to use the neon colors on this side and black on the other side. And I'm trying out some new paints that I got. These are the Liquitex Basics. And it came in a set like this of the six neon ones. So, um, yeah, I used my coupon at Michael's. was not very expensive. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. Oh, and then one other note is that in the green, I also have glow-in-the-dark paint. I put some of the folk art super glow in there. So hopefully we'll get some fun glow action. I'm going to layer the neons over here. Hopefully we don't create any ugly mud because we're mixing these wild colors. Should be fine. I guess we'll find out. All right, I'm gonna throw a little more blue and I think a tiny bit more pink and then we're good. Actually, I'm gonna put more green because that has the glow in the dark. Okay, good. And then we'll do black on the other side. I'm gonna just fill up the cup about the same amount because that's easiest. And if I don't need all of it, I'll just pour it back in. Because I definitely think I have too much paint for this canvas here. But that's okay. This already looks really exciting. Alright, so with the Infinity Pour, it's kind of like doing a double tree ring at the same time. It takes a little coordination. So I like to go outwards. And you're basically going to just kind of overlap your colors like this and uh, the name was voted on by my viewers so they thought that this was a good name for this technique I think so too all right go ahead and tilt and it generally speaking starts off looking kind of not very exciting, but after the tilting process, generally gets more exciting. <laughs> we'll see. I thought this would be fun to try with just black. Okay. I actually really like that. I like that negative space with the black. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let this sit. And I am going to turn on um, my black light. So hopefully we can get this thing a bit charged with that glow in the dark paint. And we'll see if it glows. We shall be back. Okay, we're back. I've been charging this with my black light. So first things first is we're going to just turn off the light and see how it looks with just the black light. And then we'll turn off the black light as well and see how it glows. All right, this is how it looks with the black light. So cool. I am digging all this glow in the dark and neon recently, which is funny because I'm totally not a neon person. Um, okay, now we're going to go ahead and turn off the black light and you should see at least glow in the dark for a bit. I didn't charge it for that long, but it should be pretty long lasting. Here we go. Nice. Now remember, I only put the glow in the dark in the green. So. There we go. So cool. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm having a lot of fun with these. And uh, some more coming up soon with the neons here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.